Hi everyone, this is Yashreka, Assistant Professor in English, Kamadeno Arts and Science College, Satya Mangalam. In this video lecturing, we are going to see about communicative approach. Before entering this topic, let me tell you something. Uh, English language teaching in a few decades, English was taught and learned with the educated native speaker as a model. The two accepted varieties were British and American English. In English language teaching was an effort directed at reaching as close approximation of native speaker model as possible. Uh, in introduction, communicative approach, the development of language learning or teaching from form based to a meaning based approach, the move towards an effective approach from a rigid method, the shift from teacher fronted learner centered classes. This approach became popular in 1960s. This approach is natural extension of the notional function syllabus. The notional functional syllabus threw up ideas, worked out syllabus, and produced textbooks, and these turn have become the basis of the communicative approach. It is the set of the goals of language teaching and uh, it is an alternative of the structural approach. Next we are going to see about what is a communicative approach. It is not only it is not only to apply grammatical rules of a language in order to form grammatically correct sentences. Many syllabus have been developed under the label communicative approach. They have common syllabus and semantically organized syllabus such as notional syllabus. They teach the language needed in different situations and different functions to express and understand. And uh, next we are going to see about characteristic features of a communicative approach. Uh, first one is accuracy and appropriateness. The learner attain communicative competence that is the use a language accurately and appropriately. Authentic and meaningful communication should be goal of classroom activities. Fluency is an important dimension of communication and learning is a process of creative construction. It involves trial and error. Then a communicative task. Next one we are going to see about the four competence areas. Uh, first one is linguistic competence. Uh, linguistic competence means uh, nothing but how to use grammar, syntax, vocabulary of a language. And social linguistic competence knowing how to use language appropriately, setting and goal. Discourse competence means how to interrupt the larger context. Strategic competence means learn more about the language. Next, uh, uh, these are all the uh, competence areas used in communicative approaches. And uh, next we are going to see about uh, techniques used in communicative approach. First one is information gap. In communicative language teaching, information gap tasks are used uh, and information gap tasks are used introduced in the classroom uh, activities using following techniques and role play role play is nothing but since the ability to manipulate language in a social context in an important aspect of communicative competence most of uh, most materials include role play as a part of activities uh, then uh, third one is retrieving text order uh, this technique involves use of uh, scrambled sentences and uh, scrambled picture techniques uh, then uh, group work or pair work. It form an important part. Group work or pair work. It form an important part of any communicative activity since peer interaction is an uh, peer interaction is an. Um, effective means of acquiring some language features and last one is communicative competence communicative tasks are used in the techniques then last one is conclusion uh, the various methodologies serve and one purpose and communicative language teaching makes use of real life situation that necessitate communication and learners motivation to learn comes from their desire to communicate in meaning ways about meaningful topics that's all. Thank you.